Welcome back. Addiction, it's a topic many shy away from, but it's a problem here in our communities. More services continue to be needed. I'm here with Christine Casper Bar with Revive Inc. And so um, a lot's helping to address this, but that's kind of the thing. There are more services needed, right? And you guys are trying to look at ways to help with that. Absolutely. Yes, we've had for many years in this area, particularly in Nebraska, we have a shortage of substance abuse substance abuse services right and so in region three we have um, we serve 22 counties here in, re in the region three wow. and there's not a lot of detox and short-term treatment centers and even further out west in Nebraska so we're trying to really bridge the gap and and provide more services to help change people's lives right and it sounds like one of those things that you all are trying to do is um, secure space to do that yes. then yes, yes we have found we found an area and we are working towards securing the building and with the hopes to within the next six months, six to eight months, be able to provide services of uh, detox. It, it will be a long-term treatment facility, but we will have detox and short-term and, and other services, including the services we currently provide now. Right. Let's talk a little bit about the importance of having these um, treatment centers. You know, obviously, um, when it comes to addiction, it doesn't just affect a person. It can really affect the entire community as a whole. Absolutely. So to have these services, it really benefits everyone. Yes, yes. The South Heartland District Health Department, Michelle Beaver, every six years she conducts with Mary Lanning a community health improvement plan. Uh -huh. And for they've had detox and short term on their assessment. They, we, ha we don't have access to those services here in our area. Right. And so um, she's been working to really to get that going and to address those needs. And so she has approached Revive and asked that we would be the, the lead organization in this. And so we are, we are working towards that. <laughs> and so with that, like you said, um, a plan to kind of move forward. When mm -hmm. is there a time frame at all when some of this might start to happen? Because I know they can take years. So we ha the facility that we have found is it, it really is turnkey ready for us. It already has the rooms available, um, the bedrooms in it with oh, okay. bathrooms inside the bedrooms. And so it's, uh, it's a larger building and um, there, there's more to be revealed once we get the building secured. There right. we go. Well, we will look forward to that. Yes. And for people that might be needing some kind of services, mm -hmm. um, starting to look for help or concern for a family member or a loved one, how can they reach out and get in touch? What should they do next? They can call us at 402-462-2066. Um, we have Revive Inc. is our website. Yes, reviveinc.org is our website. And if we don't have the services currently, we would be able to refer them to other organizations in the area. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we would just walk them through the process. Right. All right. Well, lots to look forward to in the avenue that Revive Inc. is helping out with. So thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Stick with us. Your forecast next.